All right, you guys, welcome back to Handmade Soaps by Sarah. Um, today I'm going to be doing a, another fluid hot process all natural soap tutorial. I will leave the recipe and the ingredients and the description below. So if you would like to try this, you can. Um, in here, I already have my oils melted. I have cocoa butter, olive oil, castor oil and canola oil in here and in the end I will be super fatting with cocoa butter and shea butter and uh, organic vegan gluten-free coconut cream anyways let's get started I'm going to get my lye water and bring it to the top I'm going to be straining my lye water in because I've added tuss of silk to the lye water. And this will just make sure that any little pieces that didn't dissolve don't get put into the soap. cooking on medium heat and we're just going to keep the soap moving until it reaches a thick trace and gets somewhat translucent. When it's translucent it will have like a Vaseline-y look to it. So I will come back in a moment when this starts to thicken up and get translucent. Alright, I'm bringing you back now. We are at the applesauce stage. It's kind of really thick and grainy and almost looks like applesauce and we just want to keep it moving. It's been about 15 minutes to get here to this applesauce stage and we just wanted to make sure we scrape down the edges and keep it stirring because the edges of the crock pot cook faster. <clears throat> Gonna let that keep cooking until it thickens up more and starts to become Vaseline and translucent. And I'll bring you back to catch that part of the process. Okay, and we are back, and we are now at the mashed potato phase. And it's been, I'd say, another good 15 minutes. We're still stirring keeping it moving. Like I said, the stuff at the edge cooks faster than the stuff in the middle, so you want to push the middle to the edges, keep the edges nice and scraped down so you don't get any hard bits of soap. see it's some of the soap starting to get clearish translucent looking again I'm gonna go ahead and 
take my rubber stir stick out for a minute. And I'm gonna hit this with a stick blender because it's gonna separate a little. <clears throat> and that's okay because it's all gonna come back together. And if you want to see this full process from start to finish without any pauses, you can check out my video I posted before this. It's the whole process. It's a longer video. Um, I'm just cutting this for time and uploading purposes. <laughs> And this is the part where I'm going to add in <clears throat> my uh, three ounces of cocoa butter. And then about two ounces of shea. And this is just for extra skin line conditioning purposes. <clears throat> this recipe makes an excellent all around bar. Me and my daughter, we have really thin, fine hair. And we use it on our body and our hair. It's great to shave with. It's just an amazing bar. We're just going to stir that in until it's totally melted and keep letting it cook. the lid back on that for a minute and I will bring it back after it's cooked down some more and right before I add the coconut cream <clears throat> all right we're back and we are definitely in the Vaseline phase and right now it's really important that you stay by the crock pot and stir and stir and stir because your soap can expand and volcano over and make a big huge mess on your counter and waste a lot of material <clears throat> so you can see the shiny translucent look of the soap so this is where I'm going to add in my uh, coconut cream to thin this out a little bit <clears throat> and add some extra moisturizing conditioning properties into the soap Like just a standard size can. I'm going to add the whole can. This is a double bat. She's pretty big. I'm just going to stir this in. And this is going to thin it out again. Make it a little more liquidy.
that's it. It's fully cooked. You can see the translucent clear look it's got going on. So all your sodium hydroxide at this point has cooked out. Your batter is nice and fluid. I'm going to go ahead and turn the crock pot off. Move my stick blender to the side. And this is a double batch, so I'm going to separate it into um, measuring bowls, which will make it easier for me to actually pour into the mold. on the counter then for me then. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the crack pots from the side since it's a very long awkward shaped crack pot. second set of hands. I don't, so I'm just gonna Okay. Alright. I'm gonna move the crock pot aside. moving to while it's in the separate containers because the edges will cool off and get hard and we don't want that. But we do need to cool it down enough to add our fragrance oils or essential oils. <clears throat> this one I'm going to be doing, um, the green one I'm going to be adding uh, tea tree and cedar wood oil with a little bit of um, Fuller's Earth Clay in it. And then in the purple one, I'm going to be doing lemongrass essential oil with some activated charcoal. <clears throat> so we're just going to keep these moving, cooling them down just a little bit. And you could use fragrance oil or colors in if you want. I'm just doing a natural batch, no colors, just essential oils and clay. The clay will essentially color it a bit, but. And like I said, if you want to see fragrance and color, feel free to click back to my last video. soap supply mold. I love it. It's got a nice thin 
tall and skinny mold and they have nice thin silicone liners that go inside these boxes which make the soap super easy to get out of and in this one I have my um, clay and my lemongrass oil mixed into already and that's gonna go in that one and then this other one over here I have my tea tree and my activated charcoal mixed in and you don't want to cool the soap down too much because as it starts to cool it starts to harden just want to cool it down enough so that you don't flash off your fragrance or essential oils but you want to try to keep it moving because the top and the edges will cool faster in the center you will end up with hard chunks As you can see, it's staying nice and fluid. Alright, I'm going to bring you back in probably about 5 or 10 minutes when this is cooled off enough to add the essential oils and clay. Alright, I'm back now and I'm going to be adding the essential oils and clay. Alright, and this one, like I said, it's cedarwood and tea tree essential oils and activated charcoal. And then in this one, it's Fuller's Earth Clay and Lemongrass Essential Oil. And as Katie White from Royalty Soaps always says, scrapey, scrapey. She's got some adorable new merch t-shirts that say scrapey, scrapey on them. I'm so going to get one. Alright, now we're just going to mix this in. Nice and good. lemongrass smells amazing my kids like it they think it's fruit loops Sure. 
ahead and pour this one. And here we have the finished products. And if you want to make a cute textury kind of top, <clears throat> you can take a spoon. Or you can wait for it to cool and make it even more textury. There's the finished product. Awesome, super conditioning, super moisturizing. Multi-use bars, like I said, we use these as shampoo bars, shave bars, and full body bars. So I'll leave a recipe in the description box below. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and watch my other videos. Thank you.